Pakistan's Prime Minister Imran Khan was yeah. deposed this weekend following a no confidence vote in Parliament. What is the administration's reaction to those developments, and does President Biden have any plans to speak with the country's new Prime Minister, Shabazz Sharif? Uh, so, we support the peaceful upholding of constitutional democratic principles. We don't support one political party over another, uh, and we certainly uh, support the uh, principles of rule of law and equal justice under the law. We value our longstanding cooperation with Pakistan, have always viewed a prosperous and democratic Pakistan as critical to U.S. interests. That remains unchanged, regardless of who leadership is. In terms of a future call, I don't have anything to predict at this point in time. Obviously, we stay in close touch with them at a range of levels. The new Prime Minister, um, Sharif, uh, what arrangements does the administration have to contact him and uh, what's moving forward on that? You mean whether there will be a call from the President? Right. I, I don't have... Oh, good. Expectations are there for his new administration too. Uh, I don't have a prediction of uh, of a uh, call at this point in time. I mean, obviously, those are assessments made day by day, and especially after new leaders are elected. Of course, we have a long, uh, uh, strong, and abiding relationship with Pakistan, an important security relationship, and that will continue uh, under under new leaders. Given the situation that in neighboring Pakistan, uh, what is your assessment of the situation there? Given that it's a nuclear power country and situations quite volatile. In terms of the new leadership or what aspect? The security aspect of Pakistan. I don't have a new assessment from here to offer. I, I would point you to the Defense Department. Yeah. Go ahead.